Okay, so um, this is the uh, start of the uh, massive blank custom, the actual works. I have done, I've been trying to work out how to do it, so I've done two squares, 200 drills. <laughs> <laughs> How many to go? I actually didn't count. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is um, oh, I suppose I'll move some of this stuff out of the way. All my tools are sitting there. To be able to manage it while it's on my desk, I have rolled it, and that is an ever whoops, and that is an ever moment too. Let's wait for two. Okay. Sorry, that was me dropping my roller. So I've got the Ever Moment tube. I've got it rolled in the Ever Moment tube. Um, currently, it is coming down um, that way to over the, my desk while I work on this corner. Uh, as I get further into it, I'll have to find a new way to go. So there we go, that's the first two marked off. Um, I'm believing that using highlighter pen is the best way to go because as soon as I mark out with black pen, it covers it up. I did do a page for each one of my trays. However, um, when I was selecting my drills, I was having to ruffle through pages. So I've stuck my legend of all these lovely colors all the way through. Oops, that's writing from a previous one. Um, so they're all labelled, all good to go. And I included the picture. So I can have that when I'm actually working my symbols out and grabbing my tray. So that's that. And when I'm in grabbing my tray, I am, I look through the colours that I'm going to use and uh, try and get them all on there. There might be some that I haven't put on there, but um, these are my main colours. So that's that's the initial starting point of actually drilling. Um, so, um, so yes, I have my trays all set up. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> three and I think I, I think I initially said it was 120 colors it's actually not 120 colors yay it's only 102 <laughs> so there we go um, so I'm going to there's the ice machine I am going to um, start drilling shortly but one thing I did want to show you is with um, your edges when you have double sided tape we all get annoyed with them what I do and I will zoom you for this one I will say one thing about using um, blank canvas is I don't need a light pad I know the squares there so I'm just going lightly here. I'm only going to do it for this one. I will be doing it for the others when I open the when I open the um, when I remove the blank the cover. So what I do is I actually peel up. My hands right in the way. Let's move it along for you. Instead of using washi tape, I can get the fantastic Ever Moment tweezers and peel up that glue. Sometimes it comes up easy. Sometimes it comes up bloody hard, depending on um, whether I've 
how much I've, I've touched it already. Now you can, I don't think you can do this with the poured glue. This is the, obviously it's from the double sided, um, double sided glue that they put down on these paper. As you can see, I'm struggling with some of it. <laughs> but then the sum's coming up fairly easy. And what that means is, you know, I'm not worth having to worry about that mess and sticking. And it is um, about to start into winter here in Australia, which means jumpers. Um, I'm trying to work out how often I'll post updates on this because once I start I'm doing time lapse so um, what I might do I'll see how much I get done today um, come on a good starting point anyway. Okay, so that's the sticky there has gone. I haven't done the top obviously but that sticky has gone. Um, I will get the top done but not on camera but that makes it a lot easier when there's no sticky. So I'm about to start. I'll um, do some of this while talking. Just got to find... No, can't find it. There it is. It's just finding... Um, my lid for my knife so I can get that out of the way. Decision, I was doing one square at a time. I am going to try and tackle four squares at one time. Uh, so, I've got no light pad underneath because it, it's not needed. Um, I think... So there's your reason why you don't need a light pad because you can see the squares so easily. So that's my next section and doing that to get the glue because I don't like sticking to it. Nobody does like sticking to it. the lid down I could never find it again and the tweezers when you've got it with no drills on it you do need to just keep an eye on it to make sure you're not affecting the actual drill area which is why I'm trying to stay to the side of it Um, I will say the first time, first couple of times I did this, I did end up cutting the canvas too um, deeply, which then obviously I've got, um, you know, I've already basically I've already cut the side of my canvas. Uh, I wasn't going to, and then I've just decided that I am going to because this is really sticky all the way right to the edge um oh replacement canvas the, the correct size 
has been shipped well has a tracking number let's put it that way they have advised in that tracking process they said here's a tracking number please wait seven days before you will see it in the system so as um, soon as I see it moving as soon as I see the tracking number moving I will actually turn around and acknowledge receipt um, you know it's if it's wrong again I will still I, I reckon I will still be able to drill use it but um, I'll tell you what three canvases this big I don't think so <laughs> I don't know how long this one's going to take me I should actually record the hours but it's not This is semi mesmerizing pulling this up. So today is, it's now Saturday the 18th of May. Okay. I'm just going to try and roll it. There we go. <laughs> it's funny how some things my hands can handle, some things my hands can't handle. I can't handle sticky tape, yet I can handle this stuff. Okay. Uh, what if I accidentally did remove the too, did go too close with the um, removing the glue? I do have some very skinny rolls of double sided glue double-sided tape somewhere so if I did have an issue I would be able to put the edge down on that always handy to have as a just in case so I've got a little bit of sticky there but it's not going to be any major issue it's not going to get a lot of dog hair on it or fur on it Ooh. Some of that glue did go to the side. But my glue is still on the squares. I haven't affected the glue on the squares. Okay, so yeah, Saturday, uh, 8.22, now 8.24. Um, I am going to be watching quite a lot of YouTube today. We'll do some they catch up because I'm pretty well up to date. I've worked out how to actually stay on top of YouTube stuff. So here we go. There we go. Tray. Um, where is it? Wax. Pen, tweezers, wax tray, and pink. Sh mm. Pink Sharpie this time to mark off. Oh boy. It is a bit daunting. Just a little bit when you look at it like this and go, wow. Um, I also want a green tray. So jostling you around a bit here. I do like the green trays for some things. Um, I prefer... I will use a green, green tray for um, lighter colours and a white tray for the darker. It just What it does, it gives me the ability to see that... Um, I'll zoom you out now. It gives me the better ability to see um, if the drills are up the right way, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, the question is do I fold it? yes I will fold it I'm going to have to fold it I've just folded it so that I can see it a bit better
I'll stop it. Okay. Sorry, notifications. If you don't acknowledge them, I keep beeping at you. So, first symbol. Um, how do I, how am I going to tackle this? I'm still questioning how I'm tackling it. My standard process is I tend to go for the first top corner and then work my way through and fill up as much as I can of that symbol. I don't know how that's going to work with this, um, but I will see. Um, I've got the drills out. Jeez. And um, diamond dots, they have the great tubes, and I am always, once I get to a certain point, I pull the wax out. And then I will replace it with um, with one of my wax squares that I get. So, okay, one, two. So this is a major counting game. Gap and one, nothing more along there. So that's that those two done so it's a gap and it's one two three four this is why when I to, I'll be watching if I'm watching a live <laughs> oh, far out if I'm watching a live, oh god damn it, excuse me for doing that, saying that, but oh, there's going to be lots more of those. Alright, back to. <laughs> uh, uh, one, two, three, four, space, one. And then three and one, which is the start of the next ten. Gosh, you can hardly see those colours. Um, but that's one down, two across, three up. Let's treat it like it's a bloody crossword. <laughs> okay. Um, I just saw three, three. so well, I wonder if using a three placer, one in with three, S two spaces, and two, and two spaces, and one, and tackling from this side which is this one here three down three across one two three three across so I don't know how you guys as how cross stitches mark these out whether they do this whether you guys do the same thing to try and keep track that's a four spaces and a three in there. One space and two. How do you mark yours off? As a cro if anybody that does the cross stitching, how do you mark it off? Would be a good question.
Okay, I am now page one complete. <laughs> so that's page one down. Discovered a couple of things while I was doing this to try and work this through. Um, I think in the space of those two and this section, so which is those two and those six, um, there was a change of 32 colours. So for those that love confetti, <laughs> there's our bucket load here. Um, I am not sure, but I have a strange feeling I am one row short of 10 on uh, one of them. So I will have to do, oops, hang on, we need to do this. I will need to do a count because there's just something not quite right. Um, what else? Um, I When I put this away and I picked this back up again, which mine was only less than 24 hours, one of my side ones had fallen off. So it was again a trying to work out which one it was which was why I did the apple glue on it and I'm just before I move it again I'm going to put the aqua glue on this um, but with the aqua glue I'm not going to leave it sitting on top you know, I am actually pushing it in it is a square um, I just feel that it I don't want to have to go back and because these drills are, so some of them, hang on, some of them are from my stash and some are from Stitches to Stones. So there will be some not really nice quality there. Hang on. Okay. So that's one thing that um, I need to keep an eye on. What else did I discover? I discovered if I go same symbol in a square, I lost my place. I lost my place big time. Um, so that wasn't, um, I had, that wasn't very much fun. Um, so I did decide to go row by row by row. However, when I got to this square, I went, oh, I'm missing one. One, two, three, and four, and four. Oh, that's why. That's that one. Um, what I did discover is on that last one, which as you see, I just missed one. Um, as I was putting them away, I was trying to work on that one symbol and put them away. Um, I think I've learnt my lesson. It will, it will definitely be row by row. Right, next one is, I put this away, put it away after this section, I put it after, away after this section, and I'm putting it away after this one. When I used this one, I used a wide selection. When I did this, obviously I had 32 colours, so each time I've put the colours away. What I have done this time is actually... This one here has all the colours that I have used in this section. What that means is when I go to work on my next section, I will have a lot of the similar colours so that then I'm not having to dig them all out again from my out of three trays. They're all in one tray. Um, and then from there, what I will do is when I finish the next section, if I haven't touched it out of this tray, I'll put them into the other two, and then any that I've gained, I will put into here. So that's just um, pulling out the colours each time when you're doing confetti is um, hard to do. And, well, I mean, it's a pain in the ass, <laughs> quite frankly. Um, what else? So, yeah, I did that. So I'll see how I go for the next section. Um, I will ask for comments on this. Um, are you are, are you guys interested in me doing a time lapse for the whole thing, which I think is going to be 
humongous. If so, do you want a time lapse? If you want a time lapse, do you want me to do? Want me to put, say, four or five pages together? Get four, four to six done, and then um, upload a time lapse then. And oh, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. Um, and any suggestions for how you'd like this presented? But that's um, where we're at. So I've done four. 8, 12, 16 squares, one page is done. Um, I actually don't know how many pages I've got to do, so I'll have to do a count on that. But um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, 16, which is 1,600 drills. <laughs> So there we go. I'll leave that there. I hope you have enjoyed this. And as um, I think I'll finish it off as if, if you like it, put a proper light on, like on it. Please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I've done a big pile of uploads in the last 24, 48 hours. Um, so I don't know whether I'll put this one up today or whether I'll just... Uh, put this together and upload it at another later stage but thank you for watching and see you later bye